want to like help solve the uh, problem where like we don't want any bears coming and harming the people, and we don't want to harm them either. So basically, I'm gonna share one experience that I had when I went on vacation. So when I went to Tennessee, um, I rented a cabin and we had to um, put the garbage in a garbage can where it was also caged because it was caged for the bears. So, and even then, the bears, after some um, like years, the bears were smart enough to open the cage and take the garbage out. So, um, <laughs> to like, you know, further solve that problem, we'll do the next thing. Okay, so first let me go into the problem a little more. So, as TJ said, um, so our topic is about bears and how they've been disturbing picnics. And usually when people go to picnics, it's usually to take some time off, to relax, to de-stress. And um, no one wants a bear to ruin their picnic. It kind of just ruins their day. So um, we've been taking a few um, uh, uh, solutions, and we came out with like the best one that would uh, make it comfortable for people. And um, in, since it's in a, a picnic area, we want them to be see, able to see the outside as well. So we made it um, took that into consideration, as well as the fact that we don't want any bears to come around them as well. So they shouldn't be in their um, area at all. So um, our solution, I will explain it a little and then Tito will go into more detail. So we have, uh, we have a solution um, and what it is basically is around every uh, picnic area, there will be a door which cannot be easily opened, but like by a bear, for example, or any animal for that um, matter, but it can be, um, it's, it, it, in a way, it will be easily opened by people. So it's, um, bears are not uh, too smart. I mean, they'll like understand if there's food nearby, they'll think about ways to get it out, but they won't think about um, it in that much complexity, uh, um, how to like um, open the door. So it'll be like a glass kind of um, cage. It won't be a, a cage, so to speak, but they'll, in an area, there'll be like a pretty big area, and there'll be like a ca uh, glass um, wall around it. So, and then there'll be a door to come in, and inside there'll be like a big picnic area with nice scenery and everything. And you, uh, people will be able to see the entire outside from um, that perspective. So um, bears won't be able to come in because there's a glass door protecting them. And uh, Animal Allies, the whole purpose of it is to get away so that we can benefit and animals can benefit from us. So whenever um, the, uh, uh, pe the people are done enjoying their picnic and everything, um, they'll just put it in a small, uh, it's like kind of like a garbage chute. Um, they'll be, it'll be in the park, I mean, in the glass area. So um, they'll be able to put extra scrap, food scraps and anything they don't, don't really need to eat anymore and they don't need to t take home with them. So they'll put that in like this garbage chute and it's through a process of 10 to 15 minutes. It'll be like a single glass area. So like one family, about one group, one group can fit in there. So um, taking 10 to 15 minutes for the people to exit the area. Um, once they exit, then the bears will, and then the food will come out on the other side, allowing the bears to come and eat it. So it'll take about like 15 minutes process so the people can get away before the bears come. Um, so do you want to explain it a little more? Okay, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And um, uh, so um, the, basically the idea is to protect the people and have the bears gaining something out of it as well. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I got lots Good. of questions. Yeah. All right, question number one. Mm -hmm. Isn't the entire point of the picnic to go outdoors and have fun? You're literally just going inside a glass area and then pretending that you're in nature when you're not. Yes. And then you're eating food when you're not in nature. You're in this room actually. That's technically not true because the glass, you, it's like you feel the same tree when you're seeing it outside, right? So when the whole place is like glass, there will still be grass on the floor. It's not like we're putting it, like ourselves in a cage. There will still be grass on the floor and there will be maybe like a couple of trees and like we can still enjoy the nature but we're still protecting ourselves. And how do you plan this? Huh? It'll be probably what, maybe what was the question? How, how big, big how big yeah. how big are you planning? Yeah. 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 Like uh how big is the Oh how big it's gonna be a pretty um like maybe uh twice a year trip? Um 
one mile radius. It's not like, <laughs> like that's it. Yeah. That's it? That, no, that's actually too big. Not, not even, like, way too big. Um, yeah. uh, just enough. So there are, like, uh, there you can fit the trees inside. There's, um, like, there's wildlife inside. There'll be bugs and insects and stuff, like, normal. And there'll be, and if the, bit, if the, um, the, um, class out, uh, outdoor, I mean, the class wall will only be at a certain height. So after, the, like, um, uh, the max height of the bear, it'll, like, stop. It'll go two more, maybe one more foot after that and it'll stop. Have you just understand where I'm coming from? Because mm -hmm. I don't think this is the design or like the most reasonable solution, like the most best solution. You can decide on your Because what paper. I'm thinking is like, just ask you a question. Like normally what I do is I, when I have like a family picnic, I just take a few foods, I eat, and then I play soccer with my friends. And then I normally play in a really wide area. And then after that, um, also it's glass, right? How are you gonna uh, like control the heat in that room? Are you gonna have like an AC on the top? No, yeah. it, it's open on the top. It only goes to certain height and then it's open. And, and also, what you like a house. Yeah. Okay, because I was just thinking, because it's glass, right? Mm -hmm. Will the glass, you know, just heat up everything? It's not. It's mm -hmm. Glass doesn't heat up that quickly. I mean, we have windows and. Okay, yeah. let's do the next one. Um, uh, one more thing for the soccer fields and stuff like that. That's an idea. That's, we'll take that into consideration, and that can be like a new idea. We'll add like that, like an attachment, um, so you can like go play. There'll be like sports area. So for that idea. What location are you planning to uh, put this idea? Um, basically like any park. Yeah, yeah. we're uh, just trying to uh, like uh, get first the idea of getting the idea out, uh, and then after that it's um. Uh, we'll see what parts get the most bear attacks, and then it's like doing more in-depth research of which parts get the most um, bear attacks, and then um, uh, where, how much space they have in the park. So all that comes into consideration. But right now, we're just here to it's tell you guys an idea right and um, come up with a solution. Okay. Thank you. This is the idea of glass, right? Yeah. So why can't the bear just ram into it and break yeah, it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. like four times yeah. our weight. It's four times our muscle. Mm -hmm. and of the bear hitting the wall, and then that sound that just comes and disturbs everyone. No, but bears can break glass, basically. Yeah, they they can break glass. The glass thick enough, so it, it will be stronger than the bear's um, and actual mm -hmm. like, um, power. Yeah, and there are metals that are uh, clear as well, so it's not um, just a main rim of glass. But it's, it's not like glass. So will it's not as clear as glass. If you add more layers, then you add See? more heat to the room. Like, this is only one layer, and there's no bears going to jump from the room. I have a question. Taking so, will you guys make it bulletproof? That even if the glass is not so thick, it will still be thin as a steel. Yeah, so, will you? Or? Yeah, that's what... Uh, but that costs more money, so how will you plan to... No, it? it's... Uh, I mean, the whole idea... We can't do something without, like, totally any cost, because if you want to go to the larger scale, you have to um, think larger amount of monies as well. And so um, we're not trying to eliminate like the idea of a large cost totally. We'll we'll do so. We'll then put support with that with fundraising. Like mm -hmm. um, it, many people want to be safe in the park, so it's not something people won't fund. So um, um, a, a lot of things come into play there. So I mean, um, it we'll be able to do it. I mean, it's an idea. So I think we'll be able to take it that far. But I have a few questions. One, will government allow this? Uh, That's a question you can ask for any idea, so I mean, okay. we always okay. have to ask so the two, government personally. Um, how much money do you think it'll take to make like a thick wall of blood, like wall of glass around this area? I mean, I'm yeah. not an adult, so I can't estimate that much like money that well, I but I, I think it might be a little bit. I mean, if people really care that much about park, their parks, um, we we'll, we'll do it. So it'll be like a few. It like there'll be like one area in every park. So we'll, um, so people will. I mean, if people really want that relaxation time, they'll like they'll drive they'll drive to get to um, like a destination. Okay, so that two might more be questions. Far, far away. One, why can't people just use bear spray? Bear spray. 
and some guy with a bear snap will come and kill the bear? the glass at least five feet. You're getting stuck on the glass part too much. Yeah, but I'm just worried about the thickness. They could easily... I mean, the, what the I said, glass. I mean, good idea. I like yeah, the shoe, I like but the then the trash, uh, but then the glass wall just ruined the entire You could video. call it the hamster. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I mean, depending on how strong the bears are in that location, we would make the glass, like, that, using that information, we would, um, like, um, make a proportion of, um, a ratio of how, how thick the glass should be. Okay. So, I mean, we're just, as I said, just yeah. like many times before, we're just giving the idea. Okay. Question. okay. First, last question. How are you going to maintain the glass and keep it clean? Because it's a lot of glass. How are you going to keep it clean? Well, then you won't be sure. <laughs> glass, glass gets dirty very easily. It, yeah. is, it is the best question. Nikhil, have you ever heard of a window wiper? I mean, window wiper. Yeah, but there's a lot of glass. Where would you be babysitting and hire a window wiper? Right? Like, you could just use a liquid and um, put it in your glass. Liquid from the inside? It's from the inside. How are there people outside? Yeah, right. Yeah, but what if the window wiper is under here? Um, well, there are, air, well, for really tall um, buildings, uh, some people use um, uh, devices from, like, they, they come from the top and they go down. So, I mean, um, it, we, ha we haven't thought too much in depth of how to clean the glass, but, I mean, there are ways to do it that yeah. people won't get harmed. I mean, people go to the park all the time when they 